On this week's episode of the Ritual Misery podcast, I had a weird sinus event. Um, <laughs> does that involve a new mixer? Uh, in a roundabout way, perhaps. We're also going to do a confirmation hearing. Yes, because the people of America want to know what we're thinking. <laughs> More importantly, they want to know what Tay Allen is thinking. Tay Allen? Yes! <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Hello and welcome to the Ritual Misery Podcast, episode 229 for Thursday, the 26th of September, 2019. This is a show where two lifelong friends and their guests celebrate all things geek. I'm Amos, that's Kent, and we have with us the one, the only, the soon-to-be-possibly-confirmed Tay oh. Allen. Oh my gosh, I was never confirmed. I only got my co- uh, my communion. My oh. communion, oh. yes. You're you're in for a surprise tonight. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Uh, how crazy is that? Let, that was never confirmed. Let, 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 let's just say that. Uh, <laughs> okay, oh, so here's the thing: not everybody on Twitch and in Diamond Club and everything else follows everybody religiously. We all keep tabs on what's going on with each other, but not. A, I mean, we don't expect you to listen to every episode of Ritual Misery. However, Sweet. It'll, you'll be so pleased to know when I how, might. Uh, <laughs> however, if you had been listening to Ritual Misery about four episodes ago, mm. you would know what's coming up tonight. And... Darn it, you knew I didn't listen and you knew you confessed me. <laughs> oh, it. yes. It's, <laughs> it's going to happen. Um, Kent, so you've had a history of sinus events that you always tell me you don't have a history of sinus events for. So tell me about this latest sinus event that you're having a history of. No, Are we saying no, sinus no, no. So, as I in, mean, as, like sinus? Yeah. Sinus, yeah. So, I mean, every now and then. I was hoping. I mean, I've, I was hoping. <laughs> my life, I've had my share of sinus infections and things like that. But it's always just, you know, a clogged up nose and, you know, stuff like that. So... This Saturday, uh, we did a lot of uh, cleaning and, and dusting and stuff, and then we did some some yard work on Sunday. And all of this like dust in the air and all of this stuff going on, getting up into my nostrils, um, I, I think anyway, caused uh, some like sinus blockage. And you know, I blew, I was blowing my nose all day Sunday, and starting to get a little headache uh, around, um, I don't know, around I guess around dinner time. But I was like, okay, it's whatever. It's going to go away. Well, I go to lay down at like, I don't know, 11 p.m. or something like that. And then suddenly, like the side of my face, like the left side of my face just started getting really painful. Aww. Like my jaw, the, the, like the left side of my nose, my, um, uh, my cheekbone, like around my eye, my actual eyeball itself. So much <gasps> like this pressure. Actual built. eyeball? Yes. Has eyeball, anyone ever temp- had that before? Oh my I've gosh. had eyeball pain before, but this was like, this was like agonizing pain that lasted for oh. like four hours. No. I got three hours of sleep Sunday night. Now, Kent, oh, I, I, I have to ask the question. You say the left side of your face to include your, your, your brain, metaphysically, <laughs> your eyeball, your cheek, your sinus, your nose, and all that was hurting for about four hours. Yes. Um, but, but not necessarily the right side. No, the right side was fine. Yeah. And, and you were in bed. Mm. Uh, for a little bit. I okay. had to get up and okay. move around. Yeah. So, so I have to ask, did you, were, were you half, did, were you laying in bed on your right side with your right eye covered by the pillow watching <laughs> Ritual Misery while you were laying down? <laughs> Because because that can happen about four hours of of brain pain and eyeball uh, excruciation <laughs> from watching this show uh, in bed. That that's I've heard that before. Yeah, I that's am so good. glad I am on this. <laughs> <laughs> always, uh, always. Yeah. So at at some point, it, the the pain alleviated itself, and I uh, went to bed, and I woke up fine. So. Yeah, because the show is over. <laughs> I wasn't hearing your voice anymore, so in a way. <laughs> Legit. Well, hold on, Kent. With this being said, do you know I am a Reiki healer? 
Uh, you're you're a what now? A Reiki healer. Okay, Reiki with a K. Uh, yes, R E I K I. Oh. The Japanese uh, art of energy healing. Amazing. That is that's fantastic that so, you can use energy to to. Um, so uh, so what she's saying yes. Kent, is uh, she she might need to realign your chakras. Uh, well, what right now, if you want, we can do the first ritual misery Reiki session. Are okay. you down? I'm down. Let's do it. Oh, okay. I, I I will provide commentary to allow you two to uh to to get your energy on. Okay, great. Now, Amos, I must say. A source will speak through me. This is all real. The angels may talk through me. So I'm going to say whatever comes up. So it won't be completely silent, but we'll have a nice merging. It, I'm sure it'll work effortlessly together. Okay. So for those who are only listening right now, I have my eyes closed. Kent, I'm going to ask you to close your eyes as well and get nice and comfortable. Okay. Right now, I'm feeling the tingling in my feet. There's a light green energy coming out the bottom, and I'm connecting to source, the source of the earth, so I stay nice and grounded in this. And then I'm also going to empty myself of all thoughts and energies that have to do with me so that I may be a conduit for the energy that's coming to you. So I'm going to ask the white light of source energy to come through me. Ken, can you take a deep breath in for me? And out. And in. And out. So Ken, I want you to think of everything that you need to release. Any negative energy any blockages only good is coming into you now any pent of frustrations all of them anything against Amos <laughs> oh, we don't have that you've that. been holding on to for years we don't have it's time. a safe space okay <laughs> one more deep breath in Kent And out. Beautiful. Oh. Okay, how do you feel? I feel amazing. Great. great. Oh, I'm Thank so you. glad. Of course. Namaste. Oh, I see what you did there. <laughs> <clears throat> Hey. Oh, all right. All right. Um, uh, <laughs> Ro Robert, Robert, uh, Ro Robert, ooh, mm, Robert in the chat room says, is this meditation? Oh, that's <laughs> beautiful. Is it not glorious how Tay was the perfect name? <laughs> Everything from not Tay to Tay to meditation it covers the whole gamut of life experience it really really does you need <laughs> stickers to say namaste oh <laughs> Tay at yes the end. well i've been thinking about starting a patreon or something i'll tell you guys i quit my job so i've been thinking about doing something um to make money maybe i'll call it that maybe we just figured out what that was that'd be great that See? would be fantastic Wait, wait, yeah. wait, 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 wait. You said you quit your job. Yes, I did. Uh, you, are, we, are we burying the lead again? <laughs> what do you, let, what, let, what do you let, mean? Let, let's get to this. Uh, so what was the job? Okay, well, it's been a journey, y'all. I don't know <laughs> we did the last time we checked in, but also I don't want to take away from your scheduled programming because I know that is so important. You... You understand you are the scheduled programming, right? Oh. Like we have a couple of things to fill in some time and c get some conversation going, but we're all just here for you. That's, oh. that's how this works. Oh, that's so sweet. That warms my heart. Well, I'm also so glad that this was the first <laughs> ritual misery Reiki session. <laughs> and you could have never known that was coming. And I love keeping you guys on your toes. So that's beautiful. Okay. So baby girl Tay 
was bartending for a bit at a fancy Asian restaurant. Um, I also, before that, was like a fancy schmancy director of marketing for this startup. But that sucked my soul, not because of the company, but because of the marketing. Can't do that. And then, like, randomly, I did some construction. So <laughs> I've, been, I've been hopping on the computer. Oh, also, a teacher, a preschool teacher. Can you imagine if I had been your teacher? Wouldn't that have been nice? Can't can imagine that. <laughs> yes, he can. Yes, he can. Now, especially after our energies are so aligned. Um, but okay. I've been popping around. So I had a very lucrative bartending job and I stopped that because it was ruining my body. I felt like a vampire that was rejecting the change where I, I was like waking up every day and nothing was working. And my body was so upset after every shift. And I was like, Oh, my body is telling me I'm not supposed to be here. So I quit my job. And my goal going into it was I was going to read spiritual books every day. So like Reiki and, you know, angels and crystal healing and like talk to the earth. And I was going to get super aligned and my path would come to me. And I had this idea. This was two years ago, actually. God, I'm giving you all the full thing. Two years ago, I had this idea for this book, and it came to me just like J.K. Rowling's Harry Potter, where I knew exactly what it looked like. And it's called This is Why We Need to Save the Earth. And it is a coffee table book that has beautiful curated inspired images coupled with super easy, relatable environmental tips. So it's kind of the Tay Allen of saving the world. Like, it's relatable and easy to digest. Yay! Everyone can get it. <laughs> this is really what I'm good at. And that's kind of it, is coming up with easy, relatable, trending topics. So it's the mass text. Uh, but instead of why not get your mass text, it's turn off the water when you brush your teeth. Okay. <laughs> so everyone's on board. <laughs> so Excellent. if there's anyone out there that would like to finance this, <laughs> <laughs> that would be great. <laughs> this, sounds like a, this sounds like a kickstarter idea oh my well that's how i did mass text too gosh I literally <laughs> i'm 30 doing the same thing i did when i was 21 uh i have not changed uh -oh. my hair now is just natural that's the only difference <laughs> <clears throat> wait so, wait wait what? once yes. again what? we're burying the lead you're, you're so what you're saying is your hair right now is your natural color mm -hmm. i'm wearing no makeup Totally natural hair. Well, I, I, I noticed the no makeup, but I wasn't going to say anything. because it, uh, it was so, fine. You can say something it. Something about I'm that seems rude. Confident. Well, words out of my mouth to translate that message would have come across really <laughs> rude because I'm just not good yes. at words. <laughs> but that, You're that totally make, fine. That makes this the first time you've been on this podcast in any way, shape, or form with your natural hair color. You've always been artificially yes. brunette or artificially <laughs> blonde. It is so true. Um, maybe we even had a purple in there. Yeah, yeah, this is me. This is it. And I love it. I've never been happier. <laughs> I'm beautiful. So is everybody. I dig we don't it. need all that trash. I dig Thanks. it. Thanks. Thanks, guys. Um, Thanks. Not, me not, too. To, not to subvert the conversation, but can't I, <laughs> I, I, I put a link in here. Did you look at this, uh, this, this link that I put in here? I did. Uh, the one about the uh, American One Room. Yeah. Yeah. I, th I thought this was absolutely freaking fascinating. Um, I'm going to, I'll put the link in the show notes. But essentially, what happens is they got 526 people from different walks of life uh, to ensure that they had uh, Democrats, Republicans, and uh, independents. Um, to all... all do their natural hair color? No. <laughs> I'm, sure, I'm sure there were some <laughs> with their natural hair color. <laughs> Uh, but they, they made sure they had all walks of life between, uh, gay, straight, black, white, everything in between all the other stuffs. Like it was a full demographic sample, uh, as much as they could cram into 526 people mm -hmm. and put them in a forum so where they had to talk to each other and they weren't allowed to talk back, uh, until the person had stated their view and they had like a, you know, a couple minutes to state their view or whatever. And it forced them to listen to each other and Almost without exception, I couldn't find a single example of someone who left with deeper 
uh, uh, views than what they went in there with or that hadn't had their opinion changed at least somewhat by the right. experience. And I thought it was just mm. fantastic. Yeah. That's so cool. I, I thought it was pretty great because that's that's the key to all – because we are so politically divided in this country with – you know, we, if we're if we lean right, we lean way right. right. If we lean left, we lean way left and fuck the other side. You know, we we tend to see the other people. If, if you don't agree exactly with me, then you're the bad guy. You're the enemy. And and um, I think a lot of that is is fueled by uh, social media and how the algorithms work to put us in our own little. Uh, I guess the popular term these days is echo chamber, right? Yeah. You you only. Oh, hear, that's interesting. I hadn't thought of that. Yeah, you only yeah. you tend to uh, only hear the things that already agree with your opinion. Right, and, and, and this is this is actually how I started using Facebook again. I started muting people, which is which is funny because I started muting people that have views that I find abhorrent. Like if you have a different view than mine, that's one thing. But if you have specific views, like I can't, you know, if you if you're one of the one of the Trump devotees, I'm just done with you. I can't. We cannot have. <laughs> Ooh. A, don't use devotee in relation <laughs> right. to that. <laughs> that Let's well. save that no. word, okay? Honey? No, 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 no. It was used very intentionally. Um, but uh, y- you yeah. know, um, Trump and I have the same birthday. I'm sorry. Mm. It's not interesting. You, you just had to bring some light to that dark situation years later. That's all that was. Oh, that's so <laughs> sweet, honey. Thank you. Also, female and male Gemini's are different. But, you know, all the love to male Gemini's who also have Flag Day as their birthday. <laughs> It's a, a very prestigious day. I always say the pledge, but yeah, um, he's a Gemini. So yeah, I well, he doesn't show it. It's only the dark side that we see. Uh, yes. For more information on that, wait until uh, this next episode of Ritual Misery releasing on Saturday when you get the full lowdown. Or did that one already come out? I don't remember. Um, no, it's 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 due out. Yeah, the one Saturday. No, uh, yeah, the ones. No what you- shit, I don't know. What the hell are you talking about right now? Uh, I, I finally <laughs> caught up on releasing Ritual Misery episodes. So Saturday, the we will be officially caught up with that release. It's already published. You just, if you know if you know how to find the Ritual Misery episodes that haven't hit the market yet, uh, you can go find it on that particular website using the same algorithm and uh, title structure because I have OCD and uh, <laughs> they're all labeled the same. So you can go do that. But if uh, <laughs> Namaste. <clears throat> but um. But yeah. So this is uh. I just th- I thought this whole damn thing was interesting, and that's how I started using Facebook again because I started creating mode and echo chamber in my own little bubble. I started reinforcing it, and even after I was doing that, one of the people that I muted, I reached out to to ask his opinion on the latest Trump controversy with the impeachment and things like that, and we're actually having a decent conversation in the private channel that we could never have openly on mm-hmm. either one of our feeds, and it's. It's fantastic. It's it's pretty oh, amazing. Oh wow! Yeah, it's beautiful. He, he's like he's like mainline Trump. Like he he takes Trump dandruff and snorts it in the morning before he has his coffee. <laughs> like he's one of those guys. Yeah. Uh, but we're actually having a conversation, and it's because it's a private conversation that we can have that conversation. And yeah. uh, it's because mutant people like him that I can actually use my Facebook again. All right. Yeah. But, but- I'll, I'll link this in the show notes. Everybody should go check this out, and regardless of where your spectrum is, it's pretty awesome. Yeah. Mm. I deleted Facebook from my phone two days ago. Oh, Congratulations. yeah. Thank you. And I was the most social media. Well, actually, we know I'm shit at Twitter. Worse at Instagram. So I can't say that at all. But I was very good at Facebook. The one that no one uses who watches the show. <laughs> <laughs> my person, not my fan page, my personal Facebook account. That was the only thing I was really great at. The worst for a celebrity. Celebrity. <laughs> Yes. 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 <laughs> There's so many. It's so cute and fun. <laughs> so, hey, I've, I've been wanting yes. to ask you. There there was a play that you were involved with very recently. Which is the oh, job God. I was thinking you had just quit, which is why I was like, wait, what? <laughs> oh, honey, you're so sweet to think that any theater I do pays me anything. <laughs> <laughs> that is all volunteer and free. <laughs> So oh, man. I'm, I was wanting to know what the play was, what your role was, and uh, if you could tell us a little bit about your experience with it. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Let me talk about this with Grace. Oh, so, <laughs> also, a quick note. I am doing this for my phone. I can't read any of the comments. So if there's anything that, like, someone says I should respond to, y'all have to call it out and let me know. Okay. Um, 
And so don't be sad, people, if I don't be like, oh, thank you for saying that, or if I don't pick up on something, because I can't see it. Um, so I was in a show um, with five other people, all over the age of 70, and me. Uh, we sang and danced to something called Songs Throughout the Decades, 50s through the 80s. Nice. <laughs> Yes, there was doo-wop, there was a disco moment. You got some good um, decades in there, though, like the 50s to the 80s, like this? That's yeah. Cool. You know what? It, I called it my like theater star boot camp because I was singing and dancing four times a week. Um, it was like three hours, like multi-decades, singing and dancing the whole time. Um, we performed at basically a retirement home. Like everyone in the audience is old because all of this happens in this like older community out here in Texas. Um, so I was the little young spring chicken, but the people are so nice. They're like my family. And um, it was very awkward. Yes, it was so, so beock. So beock. No way. <laughs> so what, what's it like to be hit on by three 80 year olds at the same time? <laughs> Oh my God! Well, you've got one who's sitting down because he's in a wheelchair, and then you've got one who's like real bent over and just boob level constantly. And him, you don't have to do anything for it; you just have to stand there. It's great. And then you've got one that like kind of looks sixty-five, and you're like, "Oh, okay." And he's really trying. He's like putting his arm on your shoulder, and he's going for it, like talking about his son, and like, "Oh yeah, me and my son did this. Like he's cool. Like he's." also 30 um and that one you really got to look out for because he may not even be a denture yet did, so you're like oh okay did, did you have any old men walking up to you going i got them pills <laughs> you're oh the first God. one no i'm just kidding <laughs> <laughs> i've got a that lot of pills forget. i don't have those that pills <laughs> I have a lot of pills that do the opposite effect, unfortunately. Oh, oh, oh I'm sorry. Do, do you want some Prozac's Reiki a hell of a, now, Amos? Yeah. Do you want some no, Reiki? Prozac's a hell of a drug. Um, yeah. It's not, not quite as good as uh, cocaine, apparently. But I've never tried cocaine. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, if you need me to clear your chakras, you just call in Reiki Tay, and I'll swoop in with my angel magic, and we'll clear you right up. <laughs> that couldn't have been any better unless you did it in like a minnesotan accent because that would have been amazing it, it was kind of going there <laughs> yeah, and yeah i still really sort of have it <laughs> and i don't know why <laughs> all right kent uh tell us about this mixing board speaking of performance arts uh, uh what's going on there dude in, in, in your words, not mine, what's going on with your mixing board issues? I, so I, I received the, a new Behringer uh, mixing board in the mail a few days ago. Mm -hmm. and, uh, decided, um, Coincidentally, I decided to uh, rearrange the studio. Uh, Steph and I both use this for our own streaming um, uh, activities. So your we wife to make streams? Uh, my girlfriend streams, yeah. She, oh. she did the Sims 4 She's doing a Sims 4 Ritual Misery family with yep. my wife and me, Kent and Steph, which is his girlfriend. Uh, okay. And now there's babies involved, and I'm pretty sure someone's yep. uh, homeless because there's no jobs. <laughs> there's, uh, uh, there's, ba there's baby Big Voice J. There's baby Squid. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> lots of craziness going on over there. Uh, she right. streams that at twitch.tv slash sassyen. That's S-A-S-C-I-E-N-N-E. -E. So check her out. Uh, she was streaming on Monday nights. She's actually moving it to Sunday nights because Mondays Ooh. are now being taken up by her new hobby, roller derby. So uh, she had to move days. She's cool. <laughs> she sounds awesome. <laughs> so we rearranged the studio, um, as th our Twitch viewers can see in the background. It looks different now. Same room, just a different view. And um, so the mixing board arrived. Uh, thank you, Amos, by the way. Uh, for and, this mixing I, board that you hate. Uh, well, he he, he hasn't right. figured out yet. Yes, uh, it is quite capable. It is I way mean, more capable than my old mixing board. I had it for two, <laughs> for almost three years I had it. And I was just really getting the hang of it when, when I got the, the new board and mailed him that one. 
Kent, so, what you have to do is the technical setup that I have. You have to line up all of these books <laughs> on top of each other next to something called The Secret World of Mermaids and ARP. Nice. And then, only then, will it give you the sound that you are looking for. <laughs> I'm going to have to try that after this. Um, uh, well, he doesn't have a harp, but you can like, put your bass on a display behind you. Oh, that would be beautiful. I would allow that. In, in terms of the angel energy I send to you for your new technological setup. We will allow a base. Yes. <laughs> oh, my gosh. So my geeky thing of the week, though, was, was working with this uh, mixing board and trying to figure out how to make it work. I figured out how to make it work, but it's not working the most efficient way. Uh, so I'm going to have to have an Amos workshop in the very near future to, uh, to figure out how to optimize uh, the new now, Kent, I am very hurt that you did not say a Tay workshop after I just gave you my tried and true <laughs> tips over here. Well, what I'm up, going to dude? incorporate the Tay tips of of um, uh, sounding sound of uh, uh, I don't know room arrangement for optimal sound. <laughs> yes, uh, we'll incorporate some of those ideas. Okay. Thank you. I can send you some twinkle lights if you need help <laughs> with that trouble. Send more angel magic. Yeah, tw <laughs> twinkle lights will actually help with the reverberations off the wall and cancel out some of the bad ones and keep the good ones inside. It's oh, it's, so it's, it's a little known fact of of uh, uh, Tay magic. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe you could fly me out there and I can come with my wand and just <clears throat> flit, flit around the room four times. Well, so and he, then I'm sconed off into the air. Here's the thing about. <laughs> About that, Tay. I'm going to explain something to you because clearly you've never been to Alamogordo. Um, I don't know what that is. I have no idea what that is. That's that's the, that's the little podunk town that Kent lives in, and it's a uh -huh. it, it's from from Austin, Texas. It's about a seven hour drive. That's nothing or, in angel time. Uh, or you can get on. Uh, a two hour or a one hour flight up to Dallas, then a three hour flight down to El Paso. So that's four hours. And then it's another hour and a half drive to his house. So you only end yep. up there half an hour prior, but to consider you got to be at the airport an hour prior to departure. So you're down in a half an hour. It's quicker to drive seven hours. Than it is to fly to his fucking house. Ah. It's insane. And, 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 it's and not... Kent, am, am I exaggerating that at all? No, not even a little bit. Not even so a little bit. You're by El Paso? Are you safe? <laughs> yeah, I'm an hour and a half by car from El Paso. It's yeah. Fine. <laughs> Doesn't seem like a lot. Not in angel time. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, shit. <laughs> so, hey, what, what other uh, amazing Tay adventures have you been doing lately? Oh, I've been doing some weird things, guys. Um... Part of my, I don't know, ode to Tay finding my soul is I was at an Eckhart Tolle retreat for five days in upstate New York last week. Who knows who Eckhart Tolle is? We'll see if chat realm can chime in too. Holy. Is that two words? Eckhart. Is, <laughs> is that a e name? C yes, this is a name. He made it up just like I did with Tay Allen. We're so alike. I'm also now enlightened because of that. Uh, e C K H A R T space T O L L E. Okay, yeah, chat realm uh, is uh, clueless. Yeah, they're, like they're, they're, they're coming up late. They're, they're coming up em empty, and I I say it sounds like something that Brian Brushwood did. <laughs> In his early twenties, <laughs> that's that's where I'm at with it. All right, Kent, do you have any idea? Um, nope, not even a little bit. Okay, great, <laughs> perfect. So I didn't get that wow factor I was looking for with that. I'm glad I spent twenty five hundred dollars to go there. Um, it's fine. <laughs> I put it on a credit card that I opened up with zero interest for a year. It'll all work out great. Um, so. Yes, if anyone has a job, please let me know. <laughs> that was, I am a little worried about that. Um, so Eckhart Tolle is one of the most renowned spiritual leaders of the times. And when I say spiritual, like, like enlightenment, new age, not religious, like non-denominational, 
Um, he's like a Deepak Chopra, uh, Dalai Lama, Oprah. He's one of those. Oh, so um, not, not not like Charlie Manson. I don't know who that is. Oh, okay. Oops. He he okay. he um he he started a cult and uh, killed people. killed people in California. Yeah. Oh, a little different. <laughs> just, <laughs> okay. <laughs> just just just, just looking a, out for your safety. Eckhart Tolle, he he is pronounced. So his whole deal is, and th- this is when we get real, because sometimes I get real on this show, and I love having those moments with you guys too. His whole methodology is to be present, and I'll open up a little bit about myself right now, but. I came from a tricky upbringing and um, I was, I mean, like everyone knows, like I was like really overweight growing up, trailer, Taylor, eye patch, all of that. Um, it was hard for me to make friends until I got to college. And um, I think I just have been a person up until really the last couple of weeks, who's always super in my head. I have those cycling thoughts, you know, I get worried easily. I get anxious easily. I've never diagnosed anything or like ADD or anything like that. And, and I don't think I have anything like that, but um, I had a lot of insecurities, a lot from how I was raised and, and the way I grew up. And um it just, it led me to kind of always being anxious and worried about what people thought or what was happening or what I was going to do. Like, I I never really was just in the moment. It was always like, you know, even now, like something I'm having to work on is not just cycling, like, you don't have a job, you don't have a job, you don't have a job. And just like sitting and just thinking about eight different things at once or how did that go on that date let's say or oh my god my parents are upset with me about this or oh I have to get this tweet out or this video out like I was high functioning I was able to get a lot done and I think a lot of people thought and think oh I'm really brave but even though I'm pretty shameless and like I love taking action I had a lot of anxiety and a lot of worry for my whole life. So I kind of got to a point two years ago or so I was in a relationship. You guys have known all my boyfriends because I've been on this show for years. (laughs) I was in a relationship that that one was Ryan. I think we we like moved in together. He may have been on one of the shows once. I was in that relationship and nothing against him, but it was really really full of insecurity, so dysfunctional. And I saw so many negative traits coming out in me. And you guys know me so well, like I'm always like this. And something about that relationship was just bringing out like jealousy and moments of anger. And like, I never get angry. And, and I saw all this stuff coming. And it was at that moment where I was like, I know I need to do something. So I went to therapy, um, I went to this really cool, amazing therapy called IFS therapy, where it sort of breaks down your psyche and breaks it into parts. Like, you know, when you get triggered, when he says this, your jealous part comes up, let's talk to that part. Let's send it love. If this is boring, by the way, let me know. I know I'm kind of just like giving you my life story. Um, But um, I went to that therapy and that was hugely healing and helpful. I did that for about a year. And while I was there, that therapist, her name is Laura Leslie. She is an angel. I'm sure she does like Skype and online. Anyone hit me up if they want to talk to that therapist because she was so great and amazing. Um, But uh, she introduced me to Eckhart Tolle. So coming full circle, his teaching are really like, how can you be totally in the moment? So right now, instead of worrying about what I look like or what I'm going to do after this, or what do I have to pee? I just like feel my body. I'm looking at you guys. Like you guys are great friends. There's this amazing community. It just really kind of grounds you and brings you into the moment. And I have so much more enjoyment of life. Like I can feel the air conditioning right now in my arms and that feels cool and tingly. Like life is so cool. Um, but it was, it was like listening to his books for years and, and really like getting my spiritual tribe together. Like I'm sure you guys have noticed on my Instagram, I post a lot more stuff like that. Doing the Reiki healing was super cool. Um, it is really all allowed me 
to be for my true self to come out which come you know always came out and showed and stuff like this like it's still me but I'm just not worried all the time anymore and it's like led me into great relationships and anywho it was awesome I was like literally wearing moccasins eating vegan food in the forest in a tent cabin like peeing outside every night it was super hippy dippy but it was really it was really cool and I'm really happy guys that's fantastic that's awesome yeah so that's what I did no no and I now what put vegan all food cards. do you hit in <laughs> what, what, what vegan food do you eat in the forest Oh my God, I pooped so many times and I've always been constipated. Like literally, oh, have I ever told you all my most embarrassing story? Um, maybe not. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, that could be a really fun thing you, for you, us to do. Even, even if you had told us your most embarrassing story, there's <laughs> a, there, there's a non-zero chance that you're going to have a more embarrassing story the next time we talk to you anyway. <laughs> So. <laughs> <laughs> that's so true y'all know me so well <laughs> <sighs> that's true well I i've always been constipated which we'll circle back later uh, to the embarrassing story and like i mean even as an adult like if i don't eat kale and flaxseed it's bad y'all like you wouldn't think like oh pop star tay allen like so constipated all the time <laughs> um, sounds so. like a new song yeah, oh my god, you know, push it out, push it out, push it out. I can't. Um, <laughs> oh man, that would be really good. We you know what? What if we did that as a trio? We've talked about writing a song. Are oh, y'all also god. constipated? I, I, I not, could keep the song. I, well, I don't even know if I can pretend this week. Yeah, so this stuff, I mean, it was I, this was at the Omega Institute, and it was incredible. Highly suggest if anyone ever wants to go to stuff there. Um, but, I mean, everything was, like, farm fresh, like pumpkin quinoa, you know, radish soup, like, oh. all that kind of stuff. So I was pooping four times a day, which shows in America that the food that they give us is not digestible and not meant for our bodies because I thought I couldn't poop for shit, and here I was pooping four times a day. Take that, McDonald's. Uh, so yeah, I, I, I want a T-shirt that says "I couldn't poop for shit." <laughs> As that was coming out, I knew it didn't make sense, but I kept going. No, no, it does. It totally makes sense. It, <laughs> okay, good. It, it's like a double entendre. It makes sense more than one way. Oh, fabulous! You know, uh... I didn't mean it that way, so I'm glad it worked out. <laughs> Amos, you know who else can't poop for shit? Uh, our, our patrons. Our patrons can't poop for shit. <laughs> Over at patreon.com slash ritual misery. Um, try to, try to uh, poop for shit and go be a patron or something. I don't know. You, you know what we haven't asked for in a while that I, I feel we should ask for? Because we, we're always saying how awesome our patrons are, which they are. And we lost one this week, actually. We lost a $3 patron this week, I think. Oh, no. um, yeah, uh, financial situation changes. Same thing everybody else says, but I'm yeah. not going to hold it against you. Uh, <laughs> no, I mean, it happens quite a bit. We, yeah, people yeah. drop off. People come back later on. Right. Um, That's beautiful. The uh, the the thing that we haven't asked for lately, and a lot of people have already done this, so you, they can't do it <clears throat> again. But if you if you haven't already done so, we need more five star shitty reviews. <laughs> we really do go we into need... itunes hit the little five star because you like the show and then just adamantly tell everyone in itunes how you love this completely shitty show we need five star <laughs> shitty reviews in yep. itunes in stitcher in i don't care yeah any anywhere there's a review system uh, uh, review us on amazon a five star shitty review <laughs> on amazon if you can find us which i'm sure we're out there i don't know um <laughs> That'd be, yeah maybe i don't yeah. know uh, but we haven't asked for any in a while so let's get those going and if we get a couple we'll read them out uh in the next couple weeks yeah. Can you send me the link and I will also share that, like the direct iTunes link. Oh yeah. And we'll get like two more of my taters, maybe. <laughs> if you're listening. 
<laughs> Two. That's our goal. Yeah. yeah. One and, is me. And, and, and remember, we want five star shitty reviews. We don't want one star reviews about how awesome the show is. We want five star <laughs> shitty yes. reviews. Yes, yep. yes, 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 yes. We will tweet that out and uh, get the word out because that was a fun segment we did. What probably Let a year? Be. Yeah, it's, it's been a while ago. I think Crunchy was the last one to do it, and hers kind of ripped us a whole new one. And it was pretty fun. <laughs> pretty so, great. Um, yeah. Kent, do we have a uh, do we, do I do I have a button to push? Um, no, oh. but you um, well, you have audio to play, but it's not the normal audio, right? I might so, be missing something. So a few episodes ago, we had a particular segment that I, I think you were going to clip out a piece of. Oh, I was, and I didn't. This is all so mysterious, be gentlemen. Be because I suck at life, that's why. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we can break it down. Uh, that may so be true, but we still love you. <laughs> You're so worthy inside. Sure. A few weeks ago, Amos and I ran for president, and <gasps> he had to come up with our, our cabinet. cabinet nominees. And when it was I my turn, be on there. when it was my turn to choose my secretary of energy, I said, Tay Allen. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, that's so magical in so many ways with the new book I may write. If I get it financed, that's beautiful. <laughs> so that's to, great, to kid. Make it, to make it official, we <gasps> we are inviting you on to the Senate floor. Ah! For your, your confirmation hearing. <laughs> oh my God! This is everything I've ever wanted. I don't even know what's happening. This is great. <sighs> um. All right. Um. Amos, are you? Are you ready to begin the proceedings? I am now. now. I, need to, I needed to grab my gavel. Uh, and Amos, why was I not on yours? Why was I only on Kent's? I did a lot more generalizations than he did. That is no excuse. <laughs> I shall only talk to Kent for the remainder of this episode. <laughs> Kent! <laughs> <laughs> Darling! Unfortunately, that's not going to work very well for your confirmation. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hmm. All right. All right. All right. I am ready when you are, Kent. Let me know, and I will begin the proceedings. All this right. So, so we, we are on the Senate floor. Actually, I was going to put on a tie for this segment, and I forgot my tie. <gasps> so I can't go without the tie. I'm wearing a 49ers uh, sweatshirt. Does that count for anything? Uh, not really. <laughs> <Yes>. No. <laughs> They're undefeated right now for, like, the first time since the 90s. It's amazing. <laughs> Three, you know? <laughs> Holy crap. Three, it's amazing. <laughs> Well, instead of a tie, you have a tay. It's oh. okay. Kent's gonna wear his tay around his neck. This is just yes. God. Awkward. You have me. <laughs> you have me wrapped around after that Reiki healing session we did. I'm with you always now. All right. Besides. <clears throat> All right, Senator Limos, are you ready? I am. All right. This is so real. Good evening. <laughs> this meeting of the Senate Judiciary Committee will come to order. It is my pleasure to chair this meeting featuring the distinguished nominee from this great state of Texas. I am delighted to welcome to the committee tonight Tay Allen, whom President Fleur has nominated as Secretary of Energy. At this point, I would like to call on my colleague and friend, Senator Fleur, not to be confused with the aforementioned president of the same name. <laughs> Thank you, Senator Limos. Uh, tonight, we will be asking Ms. Allen a series of questions designed to determine her suitability to serve this great nation in the capacity of Secretary of the United States Department of Energy. But before we begin, Ms. Oh Allen, would you like to address the committee with some opening remarks? I would. I would. I would like to thank everyone in this nation for tuning in to hear the incredible things I can lend to our great world. I have many ideas which are just sprouting forth like the energetic little bulb that I am. Thank you, Ms. Allen. Uh, let us begin. I, I think I will start off my first question with um, Ms. Allen. Uh, do you intend to apply your personal spiritual energy for the good <laughs> of the nation? I am one with all beings and all are one with me. All are welcome in 
the home of my body. <laughs> that is all. Okay. <laughs> oh, <Her>, God. Her... <laughs> Miss Tay Allen, there are many who yeah. worry about the explosive power of your energy. What assurances are you willing to give the American public and indeed the world that your vibrance will be contained to lawful, peaceful purposes? Oh, well, I cannot guarantee that, Senator. That's for sure. There is no containing this hot tay once you put her on the kettle. <laughs> I feel like, I feel like. Um, what I lack in the ability to address the nation in a political way, as we're clearly seeing so far in this inauguration, I can make up for in spunk, in winks, and um, in jaunty jingles. And I think our nation could use more jaunty jingles, don't you? We need uh, an uplifting way to say hey to our day. Ma'am, this this is not about my opinions. It's about uh, you and your views on energy. I I, I yield uh, for one question to Senator Floor. Mm. Uh, thank you, Senator Limos. Um, Ms. Allen, would you prioritize AUK energy over other forms of renewable energy? Yes, I think it is so important that we all come together to pool our AUK energy. It has been proven in Nigeria, actually, that if people can harness awkward laughter, it's a way to reduce CO2 emissions, which we all know is very, very important. So the more that you can find other people who have that sort of mm, uh about them, the more that we can come together and get this place cleaned up in the air. Proven. <laughs> Thank you, Ms. Ellen. Yes, yes, you're welcome. Oh, this is great. I'm starting to get it. Uh, <laughs> Senator Lemos, I, I, I uh, go to you now. Sorry. I yield to you, Senator. <clears throat> Thank you for uh, for remembering the, the proper decorum of the Senate floor, Senator Floor. Yes. Now, Ms. Allen... You've mentioned in the past that you admire your followers on social media. Are you therefore admitting that this power of awk is contagious? Oh, it absolutely is. Well, I think we've got a little awk in all of us, sir. Let's be honest. If you feel inside yourself real now, real right now and dig down real deep, right kind of by your right thigh, there's that little ball of awkward energy that's just sort of buzzing can we all feel it can everyone touch their right thigh right now ma'am poke it ma'am can I, you poke that energy i i think that's a testicle uh i yield <laughs> to senator floor for one question mm. thank you senator well i'm glad that you found that too because i know that's been a struggle <laughs> Ms. allen uh, if i decided to inc include you in a mass mm. text yes how how easy is it really to check your box? Oh, well, it's so hard, sir. I cannot lie. Uh, because after so many years of not receiving mass texts, I actually went to war with my iPhone. Every morning, we'd go to couples counseling together and have many, many talks. It's really hard for me to check text now. And when I see that, I get one. And it's from AT&T Mobile saying that there's been a security breach. And it's not my friend. It's really hard. So I prefer if you email me, please. Uh, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you for your candor uh, and your response. Uh, Yes, sorry about that. No. Um, that was deep. Se Sen Senator Limos, I, I yield to you. Ms. Tay, only a couple more questions here. Uh, how are we to know that your appointment to the cabinet isn't just another vain attempt at radical diversity by the Fleur administration to force diversity in the form of a youthful, blue-eyed goddess into the American public's consciousness. Because I'm white, and white can never be diverse. Senator Floor, I yield my time. Uh, th thank you, Senator. 
Um, Ms. Allen, I I personally have have only one one question uh, left for you. Uh, in, in That's a shame C because I C finally understand the point of this segment. It took me halfway through to get what was going on. <laughs> I believe Senator Lemos <laughs> has uh, more question for you after uh, after this. But this is my final question to you, ma'am. Okay. Uh, which sailor soldier would you call upon <laughs> to provide the United States with the most energy? I think, Senator, that you need a Taylor Scout who brings love, justice, and spunk everywhere she goes. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Allen. Uh, Senator Lemos, I, I yield the rest of my time to you. Now, ma'am, uh, yes. for, first of all, I, I want I want to I want to thank you for your candor tonight as we've gone through and, and asked these very important questions having to deal with the security and availability. The security. The, Can you please use words I understand? Thank the, you. The, the security and availability. Yes. Yes, of yes, America's yes. energy supplies. Yes. Uh, one final question, though, and this uh, this this might be the most important question that uh, ha ha has been asked on this floor tonight. Okay, let me ha harness my awk energy. Ooh, ah, no. Okay, I'm ready. Uh, all right, all right, ma'am. Um, how true is it that you prefer to communicate to the masses via the echo of a bathtub? Should we go test it again? Are we ready to go on an adventure? I feel like the only way to answer this question is to give you an in-the-moment response. Follow me, gentlemen. Now, this is really special because I've never addressed the Senate floor from this particular bathtub, but I'm really excited to do so. All right, we're getting in. <laughs> okay, now let me get down real deep so that we can hear the echo. Hello, Senate, how are you? Are you ready for some energy? All right, all right, order, order. We don't need this this kind of excessive energy being dispersed on the Senate floor. Now you you have That's grabbed it. what appears to be a fuchsia loofah yes. on the floor of the Senate in a bathtub. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, oh, Senator Floor, is, is, is there precedent for this? Are we are we in some territory where we need to call the bailiff? Is that uh, like what? Uh, this is this is uh, this is completely outside of of uh, <laughs> Senate norms. Um, mm. I, we we are consulting with the Attorney General on how to proceed. Mm. Well, let him know I've got a blue one for him, too, honey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, am amazing. Um, oh, okay, um, Ms. Allen, do you have any yes. final statements for the committee uh, in consideration of your nomination to uh, Secretary of Energy? Well, I first of all want to say thank you for even considering someone with the august energy of all because it shows that you're a very open Senate and we need more of that in this country. Also, if it helps seal the deal, I want you to know, lastly, I also have a white loofah. Uh, let the record show that uh, Miss Allen did indeed mm -hmm. provide uh, the visual representation yes. of a white loofah. Attached to her bathroom uh, shower stall wall, uh, yes. the, 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 the tile. Yes. So is there really anyone else that can do the job? Three loofahs? Oh, my. <laughs> um, All right. Uh, I, I believe we will keep the record open in order to allow for questions that are being submitted by the other senators. We thank you very much for your cooperation this evening. 
Ms. Uh, Ms. Tay Allen and uh, the committee will stand adjourned. Bye. <sighs> that was amazing. Uh, I, I look forward to seeing the uh, the Senate vote on yes. that. And, uh, oh, me um, too. I'm ready. Uh, we, we're hearing uh, standing belly claps and uh, tons of titles coming from the uh, from the chat room. So yeah. I'd say that was uh, that was a success. <laughs> here, here, now, if you, now if you can just you. keep uh, President Fallor from being impeached, we're all good to go. <laughs> yes. Oh well. Okay. I'll only be temptation, so I can't say I can help with that, but <laughs> good luck. <laughs> I think I saw a title come through, something about uh, impeach President Fleur. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, okay. but do you blame him, though? I, I mean, I don't blame him. Yeah, I, I probably would get impeached for something. I don't... <laughs> something something stupid, on. too, for like, like yeah. not, not paying a parking ticket or something. Something, yeah. Mm. <laughs> yes. In Wisconsin. On a Tuesday, <laughs> like what the hell are you doing on Wins- in in Wisconsin on a Tuesday, dude? Like whatever. We are so lucky that the screen uh, size on mine is what it is because this bathtub is filthy. <laughs> it is disgusting. <laughs> Let the record show it is so nasty. So I'm glad no one can see that. <laughs> Uh, I'll have to shower after this. <laughs> in the same bathtub that you're currently calling disgusting. I, I see some linkage here. Um, yeah. So, uh, Bad Weave in the chat says, and that session was 600% more sane than anything currently happening in the nation's capital. <laughs> Not untrue. Not That's untrue. True. Um, uh, and, and Bad Weave wants to know, do you know that you can get out of the bathtub now? <laughs> well, I was wondering what everyone thought I should do. <laughs> you, you do look I'm quite. I'm fine with either. Uh, you, you, you look really comfortable, but I think people would appreciate the non-echo. <laughs> <laughs> also, it was such, so uncomfortable. So uncomfortable. <laughs> uh, M-Beam okay. says toilet time. I'm not sure that's for this podcast. I think Twitch might. That's uh, a different show. Yeah, that's one. One final showing of all the loofahs. There's a little fish. You know, for those times when you just want to feel a little a little coddled. I know. Just a little something special in the shower. Who knows what that is? <laughs> all right. Um, okay, I want to show you all something cool. Okay. Uh, okay. And now we're going to tour with Tay. Yes, a tour with Tay. <laughs> this is my... This is a cool map of the 100-acre wood, like an adult version. How cool is that? That's a, that, I love it. Wait, 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 wait. Is that where your house is? Like, are you showing this map live on Twitch right now of where your house is? Are you docking? Yes! I, 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 don't, I don't know if you realize how the internet works, but now everybody's going to go to your house. I know, guys. Bee come tree? to Bee Tree. <laughs> well, just, just over from the Bee Tree is your house, though. Like, Yes. There's, well, there's there's rabbits, friends, and relations right there. And then if, if you can triangulate from there, we're going to know where you live. It's right there in the map. <laughs> Guys, it's okay. We can have a party. Okay, let me show you more. <laughs> so here, um, when I was in that old uh, person Ma- show. Max Robot says you live next to Westeros, apparently. Uh, <laughs> you want to know what was west of Westeros? It's Tay's house in the 100 Acre <laughs> Wood. <laughs> it's Tay's house, guys. Yeah, come on over. Come on over. No deaths since last week. Okay. Oh so here's this. This little doodah. This is a, a four-year-old makeup set, which is who, what my friend Erin, uh, she got me from my, as my, like, Good luck gift from my show. So I have that on display because that's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Um, now, I have packed a lot because I'm moving this weekend. But here is my cats program when I saw cats, which was actually amazing. Not that movie shit that potentially is coming out. But the stage show was fantastic. Um, let's see. potentially here... coming out. <laughs> 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 yeah. That's true. I may stop it. No. Uh, here's something cute. Everyone needs a set of wings. <laughs> ah, angel magic. Yes, 
yes, yes. Oh, there's so much angel magic. It's funny. I haven't shown you guys like tours of my my space before. It's weird we haven't done that because that seems like such a cool thing to do. Um, okay. Well, here is well, uh, cl my clothes. I mean, Everyone if we're gonna get technical. Every time yes. we come down there for South by, you're like, hey, let's go party at my place. And then we never do. Oh, right. well, I've moved seven <laughs> times in the last year and a half. So it, don't take it personally. Um, my life has just been a disaster. You're, you're like, hey, let's go party at my place. We're like, all right, we've got, then, we're, yeah. we're, we're down we're, for that. And then we're like, a, where the fuck did we end up at a secret, a secret unannounced concert somewhere instead? Yeah, we're like, hey, where, yeah. the, hell, where the hell did Tay go? Oh, sorry, guys, I bounced. Like, <laughs> oh well maybe in the past but less so now with my new presence but you can't come to my new house because it's going to be with two girls and they're so clean it is like the neatest place you've ever so seen and i'm a little worried not, about it yeah i was gonna say you're not gonna be allowed there that's what you're saying <laughs> clean my room <laughs> i don't have time being dirty is not a crime yeah <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm hoping for the uh, best. Go to go to Tay's YouTube channel if you don't get that joke. Yeah. Exactly. Yes. Oh my God. Go watch Clean My Room, which is my best. It really is. It's my favorite. It's pretty good. It. I it, love it. It looked pretty fun on the video. So. Yeah. Yes. Totally. Um, it ended up being a disaster, but it looks so fun on the video. <laughs> Speaking of YouTube, we have one less thing or one more thing to talk about. One less thing. Uh, we will uh, have one less thing once you say it. Yeah. Uh, we, got a, we got a little feedback on the old YouTube. Uh, Steve says, I've been subscribed and lurking for a long time. I think you guys are cool and keep me watching every show. I love what you're doing with your podcast. The quality of humor is better than ever. All of this makes me wonder if he's ever seen the show. <laughs> when will you have he time? on the wrong channel. Yeah. When, when will you have time to get the Teespring or when will you have time to get Teespring to make Ritual Misery t-shirt? I'll buy one, which is the only evidence we had that he was on the right channel. Um... Well, I have an announcement. Uh, we now have the swag shop back up. Ritualmisery.com slash swag will take you to the Teespring site. And I've there's tons. I mean, there's there's so much stuff on there. I yeah, just, I mean, you can get shirts. You can get mugs. You can get onesies, <laughs> chef things. You can get uh, pillows. Chef things, yes. Uh, just click blankets. The chef things cattle, uh, category. Yeah, the chef things. Uh, that might actually be what it's called. I don't know. <laughs> that is great i am looking for something right now to help plug this in my here I'll, I'll, I'll instead of you seeing my head you can see this darkness check, okay well well that was me trying to find my shirt y'all check, check it's the somewhere other in there yeah, i was gonna say check the other box <laughs> <laughs> it's it's so easy to just check my box. Look at all this shit. Well, y'all, it's somewhere in there. The beautiful RMP black T-shirt. Here, look at these fuzzy slippers I have. Those are cool. <laughs> <laughs> There's some cowboy boots. <laughs> okay. Oh man, this this will play so well on the audio version. <laughs> <laughs> It'll make people want to see the video versions. Of Oh, over at youtube.com slash ritual misery yeah yes thank you to uh <laughs> people no, i was trying to remember exactly it. who it was that clicked us over the 50 person uh, minimum that we needed to get our personalized oh, man. yeah but I, I don't know i can't remember if scott is one or or um, uh, bad week somebody or, yeah somebody like that um, um, yeah, so speaking of thanking people, I want to thank Steve for his comment. Uh, thank you, Steve. Uh, we very much appreciate you uh, not only watching and enjoying our show, but but taking the time to reach out to us. Very much appreciated. Yeah, five years on the show, we've gotten like three emails and one YouTube comment. So uh, <laughs> keep, keep the feedback coming. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's in the show notes every show. We just never have anything to put in there. That so funny. <laughs> One of the bad things about having a live chat room is most people that want to say something to you will just say it there and they won't email you or respond mm. otherwise. So yeah. they're like, oh, fuck it. I, I done said in chat. They didn't read it the first time. Fuck them guys. Uh, Five years of doing this show. We've got three emails and one YouTube comment. That's, 
that's not not much of an exaggeration. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's, it's more like an inaccurate estimate than it is an exaggeration. <laughs> yes. So funny. <laughs> So funny. Um, and just in case, because we, we have all the ways here, 567-698-7672. Give us a call. Leave a voicemail. Uh, we'll, we'll play it. Uh, we, we, that, that's always fun. So yeah. You can yeah, always absolutely. call me, too. My number is all over the internet, and it's never changed. <laughs> <laughs> it's so easy to find it. <laughs> I, I would just ask Kent, because he has it. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. true. It take me well. It probably take me less time to Google it and find it some ulterior <laughs> means than for Ken to respond. It's, but uh, so for, for anyone that doesn't have it, it's eight six seven five three zero oh, nine. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. sounds familiar. Yeah, or is that Jesse Jesse's girl's number? I don't. No, that's oh, uh, five I six get it. seven. Uh, <laughs> I was about to start rattling off a phone number from an old girlfriend from like, I mean, I... <laughs> oh my gosh. I, yep. I knew. Yep. I know where you're going with that. <laughs> well, the number, Actually, I, the number just flowed so Facebook well. I saw Facebook the other day in some, like some room, I was some uh, channel or whatever that's called. Really? You saw yeah. that? Yeah. Was, anyway. <laughs> um, yeah. So, uh, Tay. If yes, sir. To uh, ask you questions by way of uh, sen- senatorial uh, mm. confirmation, yes. uh, where should they send that? Well, you can text me very easily. That would be great. Um, Instagram messaging, whatever that official term's called. DM, that's it. DM me. Um, Twitter, you will get a response a year later, as Kent knows very well. He'll say, do you want to be on the show? Five months later, I'll have gotten that, and I will respond. And then two months after that, we'll finally make it happen. <laughs> right. Um, yes. F- five you know, months just... later, you get it, and you're like, oh, man, if only you'd asked me five months ago, I was totally available. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> That's so true. Y'all, yes, you should just text me, everybody. It's fine. Um, so Tay at Allen. Tay Allen, right on on Twitter and Instagram. Yes, the Tay Allen, T A G T A Y A L L Y N. I love talking. I do Instagram message more than ever. Oh, Snapchat is the best. Oh my God! And the fans that talk to me, I mean fans, friends that talk to me on Snapchat know this the best. Like we will get real time. I wish I wasn't such a little snapper. It seems so cliche, but I love it. And I post on there daily, which is so different than everywhere else. I mean, posts, like, you can just see my life and we can be friends. But if you want to talk, Snapchat's great. And that is Tay Allen, T-A-Y-A-L-L-Y-N. Excellent. Snapchat's one of the few places I'm not uh, online. I hate Snapchat. I was against it, but it's really great for I don't I don't post things that I want like the world to see. It's really great for keeping in touch with your friends because you can just like quickly send like a funny face, mm. and they have a messaging feature. I don't know. It's just I don't know. It's kind of cute. It you, works well. You got to keep your streaks going. Oh my god, the streaks! I have a sixteen-year-old cousin who's like a soulmate of mine. She's amazing. She is so all about the streaks. I don't understand how it works. Sometimes people have a heart next to them. Sometimes they have a devil face. You know who you are. <laughs> um, I still can't figure out the Snapstagram, so I don't use any of them because I'm old. Mm. Like I need Y'all, a menu. I- there's no menu in some of those apps, man. Like Snapchat, there's no menu. You just got to kind of intuit your way around that. And I'm... Um, I I there's not enough time in a single poop to do that, and I don't have any other time other than when I'm pooping to mess with it. So oh my gosh, my like boyfriend. how am I supposed to poop to Graham if I can't figure the shit out when I'm on the pooper? Like it's I'm just done with it. I can't. I, it was, if you see me on Snapchat, it's because my wife snapped me on something, and she. Oh, I, I, While you were pooping, I no no no. I do While when I'm pooping. She she does it when I'm like. Usually when I'm pissed off, she's like, hey, come make a face with me because she thinks that'll make me feel better. But all I do is see puppy dog eyes and big hearts floating over my head and it just oh, yeah. right, pisses right. me off I don't more. do that. I do not do the filters. I'm not about that. I want the real thing. But uh, it's so funny you said that. I'd love to see what chat room have to say about this because like 
last night or maybe two nights ago, my boyfriend said something so similar. He was like, he went to go poop and we're very open about pooping, which is great. All girls should be open about pooping and farting. It makes it so much easier to be in a relationship. And so I'm like, oh my gosh, good luck, you know? And uh, because for me, it's a big deal to poop. And he was like, oh, I need my phone. He's like, it's not a poop if I'm not like checking my fantasy football or watching a video. So there must Mm -hmm. be some male thing about pooping and what you can do on your phone in that time. So I, took, I, I support that. I took all the games off my phone because I use my phone for reading news, uh, watching videos, which are usually tutorials and work mm-hmm. communications. Basically, that's what I use my phone for. I took all the games off of it. Um, it might as well be called Poop Tube because that's pretty much what I'm <laughs> doing. I'm watching YouTube while I'm on the pooper every single time. Like That's how I keep up on shit. When uh, when I was it? when I was a kid, I used to read the backs of of shampoo bottles and things like that. Yeah. And, uh, Kent, oh my God, it is a passion of mine to read the backs of shampoo bottles and conditioners. <laughs> like, I, it's it getting really boring is. now though because you can like read the ingredients. You don't have to like make up your own words yeah. for the fifteen consonants in a row. I would, read, I would read whatever I could get my hands on. Pooping at work one time was how I discovered uh, what toxic shock syndrome was. Oh, okay. That's um, cool. Anyway. <laughs> uh, so if you want to hear more about that, uh, <laughs> <pooping> <laughs> underscore Del Noche I, on Twitter. I, I have to remind people <laughs> that pooping at work is the ultimate game. Uh, don't poop at work because even when you lose, you still win because they're paying you to poop at work. Yes. Exactly. Yep. Oh, Amos, yeah. if, if people want more words of wisdom like that, where would they go to get it? Well, not your social media, apparently. But <laughs> If you want to know what I'm thinking on the shitter, go to Ethan Kane on Twitter. E-T-H-A-N-C-A-I-N-E. And uh, it's pretty much either I'm eating cereal or I'm shitting cereal. So one of the two. Uh, it's, 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 it's always cinnamon toast crunch based. Well, wow. mm. oh, that makes me want some cinnamon toast crunch, but it'll clog me up. I can't do it. I got to keep with these real foods. So I poop for the first time in my life. <laughs> well, if you want to follow the show on Twitter, Ritual Misery. Uh, uh, you, you can join our- the conversation in our Discord bit.ly slash RMP Discord. Or you can find all these links in more ways to... Uh, give feedback and um, uh, find swag and all kinds of things over at ritualmisery.com. We are live every Thursday at 7 p.m. Pacific on diamondclub.tv and twitch.tv slash ritualmisery. We want to say thank you very much to Kevin McLeod for providing us the music we use for this show and 99% of the internet. Uh, thank you very much, Kevin. Thank you for listening. For Ken, for me, for Tay, for you, this has been your Ritual Misery program. See ya. You have enjoyed this program. <laughs> <laughs>